you and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I do for work. So I've got um, eight questions here that I wrote down um, so I can give you um, a little bit of um, information of what I do here. So um, first, uh, first question, so what do I do for a living? So I am a cardiology technologist here in Canada and yeah and second question is um where did i study so a bit of a background i went back to high school when i first when we first got here and then i was supposed to be a third year um, physical therapy student at um, hsi in cavite in the philippines and um i had to go back to high school because but i can get the um I can take the English classes and the history classes that they have, so I can have the Canadian diploma para hindi na ako mag um, IELTS or English exam if I want to study in university or in like a college here. So um, going back to the question, where did I study? I studied at Stanford College. Um, this school is based in Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver, ba? no, sorry, British Columbia. And so third question would be, what course did I take and how long? So in order for you to be a cardiology technologist, you have to take the cardiology technology program. And um, I took this course for a year and three months. And um, delivery method nito is um, combined delivery. What do I mean by combined delivery? So um, this program offers online classes and in in class um, in class in class sessions. I don't know in class delivery. So um, I had to go to another province for my um, labs, but I I just have to go to another city for my um, clinicals. So that that's how the delivery method is for this program. And um, fifth question is why did I take this course? So uh, why did I take this course? Um, the first reason would be I wanted to take um, a course na hindi masyadong matagal because I was supposed to be in third year when we got here so that was 2012. I was in third year supposedly and then but I went back to high school. I went back to high school for two years so I've already Dapat graduate na ako ng PT ng 2014, 2015, but then in 2015, I just, um, well, it's a year after I graduated high school here, so I just, I wanted to take a course na hindi masyadong matagal, na it won't take me a long time to graduate, and I took this course, kaya tinig ko itong course na to. So, um, the second reason is, the most important reason is, um, si Papa nagkaroon siya ng cardiac episode. Um, when he was driving and he drove himself to the emergency room or the emergency department, um, but yeah, natakot ako. So, um, yung panamdam ko na dapat meron akong alam sa nangyayari sa Papa ko. You know, para, I don't know, a sense of relief na alam mo yung nangyayari, yung hindi yung wala kang idea. So side note, both of my parents are nurses. Kaya, alam na nila to. So, um, or alam na nila yun. And yeah, that's the reason, those are the reasons why I, did, I took this course. And yeah, um, third reason is, um, wala akong makikita ng course na, um, na matatanggap ako agad kasi I applied for for ano, a very high demand course dito, mataas na yung grades ko but then I didn't meet their years uh, yung quota nila for that year so um, my my backup plan was this and it worked out perfectly I graduated 2016 2016 ba? yeah, yeah I graduated 2016, July ng 2016 I started working um, dito sa um, safety namin 2016 then after I graduated um, so yeah so what do I do as a cardiology technologist so uh, we assist cardiologists with um, different cardiac um, tests but they are non-invasive cardiac tests 
So uh, we do ECGs or electrocardiograms, a hole to monitor scanning, and exercise tolerance test. So if you are watching uh, Grace Anatomy, lagi nang sinasabi ECG stat. So and then yung um, um, exercise tolerance test naman, makikita nyo yun sa episode where si Joe Wilson, um, um, binabantayan niya si Dr. Weber na nag, na nag, uh, ano, na go walk sa treadmill. So that's the exercise uh, tolerance testing. And, but yeah, those are the three most um, main things that we do as cardiology technologists. And, um, yeah, um, all of those are non-invasive because we just put stickers on the on the chest of the patient, on the arms and the legs or the waist here, and then we just look at the screen. So, um, cardiology technologists, we look at the um, electrical part of the heart, not the mechanical part like um, the echocardiography, stuff like that. We focus on the electrical part of the heart. And then, yeah, so where in the hospital do I work? Um, mostly in the emergency department because we respond to codes, like code blues. Kala mo yan, kung nanonood ulit kayo ng Grace Anatomy. We respond to um, MIs or heart attacks. And then um, stroke. Um, we also respond to overdose patients and many other things. But mostly doon sa patim yun. And, um, yeah, that's what I do for work. And so the last question that I wrote down, just to give you a little bit of, um, you know, idea of what it's like working during the pandemic. So I got pregnant in February, on February 25, I think. No, after I went, after I, after, yeah, after my vacation in Pilipinas last year. Um, so I got back here. I yung start ng pandemic na. So nag-work ako, I was ano, three months pregnant. And it was very hard for me working during the pandemic kasi I, the, for the first three months, I had a really, really sensitive um, pregnancy. Suka ako ng suka, di ako makakain, and yeah, stuff like that. So it was really hard for me because, you know, I have to remain professional. Kailangan kong... Um, gawin yung mga duties ko sa hospital na habang nagsusuka alam mo yun, hilo-hilo na ako kasi hindi ako makakain, I can't get food uh, I can't get anything down kaya ayun, but after the third month, naging okay naman but it was really hard working during that time kasi nangangapa pa ng lahat, diba? and um, they were just testing out um, ano ano ba itong plans or like yung mga Paraan, or they were testing out ways on how to um how to stop the spread of this um virus the no, last year so it was really hard for me because it was hit and miss no time na yun. and I have to gown up all the time you know a mask and then um, a face shield and gloves but yeah I only, I've only worked for five months uh, last year uh, during the pandemic but I would say that it was it's, it was really hard for me. Because uh, being a cardiology technologist, it's a uh, constant walking in it. Constant walking during or well, throughout the shift, um, especially during the during the evenings. I mostly work evenings because it works best for our schedule here at home. But yeah. Um, and last question: Do you love your job? Yes, I do love my job so much because. I don't, um, we don't deal, I don't, I don't deal with a blood that often. Um, I don't deal with blood meaning hindi ako nagpo-poke. But then in our, in our program, we were taught on how to um, take blood from patients. But here, sa province namin, we don't do that. So thank God, because I don't want to poke babies and all. And I don't, I don't want to poke anyone. But yeah, I really love my job. Because non-invasive, siya, we're office hours, and then, yeah, I, I, I get to learn new things every day. And it's very, um, I don't know, it's very exciting to work every day. Because, you know, yung napapanood ko sa Grace Anatomy, parang nandun yung rush pala talaga kapag nangu-work ka sa, ano, sa hospital. And then there are lots of interesting cases as well. 
and um, what I loved about this too is I work I was working with babies as well so I was taking their um, ECGs which was really I don't know exciting for me to move back with these because I get to hold them you know they're so cute but yeah and I hope you um, learned something sa vlog ko today. Um, mabilis lang to and mabilis talaga ako magsalita. I am really sorry. But yeah, um, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to um, get more updates about what's going on in my life, what's going on with my baby and me here in Canada, you know, and my upcoming uh, baby re products reviews. And that's everything. God bless you all. See you in my next video. Janet.